And, uh, yeah, I'm Dave Grimaldi. I work at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City, where I'm a curator. And uh, one of the, the, the groups of flies that I'm really interested in are Drosophilidae, which everyone knows as Drosophila melanogaster. What most people don't know is that there are actually about 3,200 species of Drosophilids, um, most of which can't be cultured in the lab. And uh, there's quite a diversity of them. Um, Drosophila is just, just, just one species. Awesome. And um, <clears throat> so, when you're out in the field, how, like, what are you gonna, where are you gonna be looking, and and how are you gonna be collecting these in the field? Uh, when I collect Drosophilids uh, in the field, I generally sweep uh, with my with my net, and you find uh, wild species. <clears throat> congregating on um, damp leaf litter. Uh, you find very particular species um, in flowers where some species breed. They can be very, very specific. Some of my favorite kinds of species are, uh, they come to fungus, different kinds of fungus. Um, and there are even species that um, live on the nymphs of spittle bugs. Uh, so they can be very specific and they have very, very diverse life histories. So I use a variety of collecting techniques. That's awesome. Um, and how do you um, go about in identifying uh, the species of fly that you work in? So when we collect the specimens, put them in, in little vials of alcohol, take them back to the lab, and we'll dry them carefully, mount them up, sort them. Um, underneath stereo microscopes. And first we sort them grossly to uh, external features. Um, and then we do little, little tiny dissections uh, of their reproductive parts. Um, and usually it's the males that are very, very complex. And um, this allows us to readily separate species. And, um, and that's how we pretty much identify um, described and undescribed or new species. And could you give us a snapshot of the Diptera order that you work on? Or oh, the Diptera family? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's Drosophility. Drosophility. The family Drosophility. Okay, that's what you did in the yeah. intro, sort of, yeah. yeah. Um, and now that, um, well, so let's talk about some of the behaviors that, that you'd be observing of the fly. Um, I, I don't, there are, there are lots of different behaviors of Drosophilids. Um, probably the most interesting ones are the ones that come to fungus. Uh, some of the species, um, the males only, have these broad hammer-like heads. They're like hammerhead sharks. Um, and they sort of push each other back and forth in these territorial contests on top of the fungus. Um, those are among some of the more interesting ones to observe. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, and could you just talk a little bit, this kind of broadly, I mean for like a broader audience, but why is um, collecting and observing flies important and, and why is it good to study them? Well, it's, you know, why do any of this work? Why look at little tiny flies like drosophilids in the tropics, things like that? Um, first of all, it's for its intrinsic knowledge to understand biodiversity. Um, you, you can't uh, understand what you don't know. Um, secondly, you never know when you might encounter another uh, Drosophila melanogaster type of species, a species that will provide tremendous insight into understanding the genome or some other profound aspects of biology. Excellent. Um, yeah, so you talked about, um, well, let me ask you quickly, um, so how, how do you know where to look w when you're out in the field? I mean, for a lot of like, you know, for collectors or, or people out you know, scientists or, or like even photographers like myself, where do you know where to look and, and like yeah. what, what are some key things that you'd look for? Yeah, how do we, how do we uh, know where to focus when we go into a tropical forest? I mean, it's a, it's, it's a big complex ecosystem and we often focus on little spots. Um, to some extent, it can be um, a trial and error, um, but that's how you learn. And after, say, a few years of experience, um, you learn where you're going to find certain genera, certain species uh, in the forest. Um, I know that I'll find Herdodrosophila and Mycodrosophila and Zygothrica and some of these other genera only on fungus. So I'll look for certain kinds of fungus and I'll find them there. And I know that I'll find other genera in certain other kinds of spots on different hosts 
Um, so you, you zero in on the hosts where you think that they will be congregating. Awesome. And um, just finally, how important is the MBO lab and the collection here and, and the whole ZADB project? Um, you know, how is that important and how does that help you with the work you well, do? Well, the ZADB project is, is, is of significance because it's focusing on this particular forest, which seems to yield some really interesting, rare species um, that I haven't seen in my 20 years of working on the Costa Rican fauna. Um, the MBO, uh, MBO has a wonderful collection of insects um, that are beautifully mounted up by parataxonomists who have spent painstaking years mounting up this material uh, from around Costa Rica. So that collection is, is of great importance for comparing uh, to the material found here in Zerki and um, to see how narrowly restricted the species here in Zerki are compared to Costa Rica in general. Awesome, thank you. And um, do you, is there something about yesterday that you want to talk about, or, or, or they asked me that you guys made a finding yesterday? Do you guys want to talk about that at all? Or? Oh, I, I would say you know in Zerki, to me some of the most exciting finds is you know there's we found a couple of species. I mean there are many many species, dozens and dozens of species of fruit flies here in Zerki, but um, we've we've discovered a couple of species that are very very unusual that I've seen nowhere else in Costa Rica or, or anywhere in, you know, South or Central America. Um, and there are two unrelated species where the males have these broad heads, where the eyes are kind of on stalks. Um, and, and it's just the males. And it's, uh, it's kind of like these species that, that come to fungus, only they're unrelated to them. Um, so there's something uh, kind of cerebral <laughs> among this certain kind of flies about being up here in Turkey. Awesome, thank you so much.